Neil, a point a piece on opening day, and that was quite a game out there. How do you assess it? Um, I thought we were brilliant for the first half an hour of the game. Um, you know, just felt like we was watching the whole game over that side of the pitch, and then just shows your football done it all of a sudden, not even a dangerous moment, and you know, a little bit of a, a mix-up and a penalty, and then a weldy, and all of a sudden you're two-one down. So. Um, I can't, you know, I said to the players before we went out, let's not let the the result affect the performance. So let's not worry about losing a game of football and not play as well as we can. Let's just focus on the performance and see if the result comes. And I can't ask for any more. I thought the lads were, I thought we were a better team, and I thought we were in control towards the end. We lost a little bit raggedy when we we're chasing the game, but thoroughly deserved the point. The two goals clearly changed the game in those quick couple of minutes or so. But what pleased you most about the opening 2025? Because it, it was really, you know, camped in their hearts. Yeah. Yeah, I thought, you know, sometimes when you get to the first um, day of the season, the players get a bit more nervous, you know, the result counts and you, you forget to play and move the ball how you had done. But I thought we did that really well. Um, we opened them up, we got in great areas and we looked like we could score every time we went forward and we looked defensively solid against, which everybody knows is going to be a strong team this year. So um, loads and loads of positives from that, obviously. Um, we've got to sort of manage the game as best we can when we're on top, try and, try and put them to the sword and we found ourselves 2-1 down unfortunately. And what was the message at the break? Obviously they had their backing of the fans, I think they were right up for it and we had to pick ourselves up again in that second half. Yeah of course you do but I, you know the worst thing we could have done was try and chase the game in the first 10 minutes and ended up 3-1 down because it's game over then so we just said look you know 45 minutes to score a goal, keep doing what you're doing, don't try and change it. Um, so I thought again, thought we started quite well in the second half and I thought for 20 minutes we were on top in control of the game but then we just looked like we were starting a run out of a little bit of ideas we looked like we were starting to be less and less of a threat so that was when we made a tweak to the shape and personnel and tried to mix it up a bit and the persistence pays off with Joe Creeper up again his second of the game and a really good performance from him as well yeah he's, to be fair he's been outstanding all the pre-season um, you know he's he's really through most of the games whatever system I've played whatever position I've put him he's been lively he's understood it so um, yeah he deserved he deserved that and he deserves to certainly be in the starting lineup. just finally overall a point of peace on open day to go with next week back at home you pleased with that? Um, I'm pleased when you're 2-1 down chasing a game course your peace to get a point out of it I didn't think we deserved to lose I thought that would have been harsh on the boys um, and it's not like with the goals with their goals we got opened up and you can pick too many faults in it one's a worldie and one's a sort of mix up for a penalty so I'm pleased with you know, all of the performance both with and without the ball um, let's take it forward and, and hopefully turn a good performance into three points instead of one Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Um, a quick word about some of the, the new lads, because obviously there was um, five or six who hadn't played before mm. um, in front of a, a big crowd. Yeah. So uh, a word on those. Yeah, I thought obviously Marcus, um, unfortunate on the penalty, just tried to try to be commanding and, and just got his uh, got his timing wrong. Um, but you know, really pleased he made a couple of great saves at the end to keep it at, uh, at two two one. Um, so he, he's going to grow. He's going to learn from that first game. Um, but but I thought you know Dallow and Newt's were threat particularly in the first half I thought last sort of 15-20 they were just starting to get a little bit tired they haven't had as many minutes as they, they maybe should have um, but other than that I thought everybody else that's come into the team everyone that was here has executed everything I've asked of them all the pre-season 